This video is going to show you how to install mods from Nexus Mods into Planet Coaster 2. Please keep in mind that modding is not officially endorsed by Frontier Developments. When you do mod your game, you do mod at the risk of breaking your own game. Please mod with caution. Before we get started, it's important to know how to locate your OVL data folder. This tutorial will only work for the Steam version of the game. Console versions, unfortunately, are not able to be modded. In order to find your OVL data folder, click on the Manage gearbox towards the right of your library page. Next, go to Properties, then once that comes up, go to Installed Files. Next, click on the Browse button. That will bring up the Planet Coaster 2 folder within your Steam Apps folder. Alternatively to find this, simply navigate to whatever drive your game is installed on, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, then Planet Coaster 2. However, we're going to skip right ahead to Win64, then OVL Data. As you can see, I have our files prepared today. But this is essentially where all your mods that essentially add new features to the game, whether it's adding more scaling, or whether it's Axie or any other mods that come of age in the next few weeks, this is where they're going to live. For example, there is another mod on here for stutter fix for high CPU disk priority. This is not installed that same way. Please keep in mind that whenever you do look on a mod page, look for proper installation materials referring to how each individual mod is downloaded. However, before we do get started by getting the scaling mod, there is something very important that we need to do. We need to download Axie. Axie essentially stands for Awesome Cobra Script Extender. Essentially how this works, this just makes mods available within your own game. In order to download this, you will need a Nexus account, but once you set up for that, which is, is completely free by the way, I know there's some misunderstandings on that, you simply go to Files, then click on Manual Download. It'll pop up right over here. Keep in mind, I am sure you certainly can use the Vortex tool, which is kind of Nexus's official uh, mod installer. You can see it right down here. This is just for manually installing mods. If you want to look up how to download a mod with Vortex, you can. It's just very finicky sometimes, and this is the number one foolproof way of installing mods, in my opinion. The same with Too Much Scaling by Coppertine. We can navigate to that page right there. We can navigate to Files, and we can click on Manual Download. And again, keep in mind, once again, you can see installation instructions right down here. Now comes the time in the video where I recommend WinRAR. However, if you are more familiar with 7-Zip or WinZip, you can more than likely use those. However, I am just a boomer and I prefer WinRAR. Now, once you actually do have your whatever it is you installed, you can start to open up these files, then simply drag them out. It's very important to do it exactly as that. However, you can also do it by right-clicking, then extract here. That is the only two ways that you're actually able to install mods. I've seen a couple of times instances where people tell me that their mods are not working either for Planet Zoo or Planet Coaster when they did extract to, which brings up this, and you get a bunch of different numbers at the end of your file and then it installs it exactly as it appears on the zip file. This is not how it's supposed to be installed. However, if you did accidentally install it like that, simply navigate inside of that folder, drag this one up to the OVL data folder, then delete that old folder right there. Now with too much scaling installed, we can also install Axie. Again, we can open it up, and then we can simply drag it out. And like that, we can delete our zip files, and our mods are installed. Let's hop in the game and see if it worked. So once we actually hit the main menu, we can see in the top left corner that it has my name as well as the build of Axie. So with that being said, we can load into a new park and see if our scaling mod worked. Now we can pop down into scenery and we can place down a blueprint. And if I scale it all the way down, we can see it actually does scale down to 10%. Or alternatively, we can scale it all the way up. I hope this tutorial proved fruitful for many of you, and I look forward to your modding journeys in Planet Coaster. 
A huge special shout out to the Cobra Tool developers, Hexabit, Inaki, Hendrix, Harlequin Zigo, and so many other awesome, just excellent programmers who have really helped make these tools as robust as possible, as well as Coppertine for being the one who made the scaling mod, which is going to be so exciting to play with. We'll check that out in a different video, but thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions whatsoever, be sure to join the modding server, which is linked down below in my description, or check on the modding pages. As you can see, there are bug sections and post sections. So if you guys did experience any bugs within your game, be sure to report one in the bug section of these. Or if you appreciate what the modder did, be sure to drop them a little post in here. It's always so appreciated. Thank you once again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye